this is the Junior Investigating Paranormal Society based in South Lamesport, Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm John. I am the eager, musically inclined, sensitive. Uh, I'm Austin. I'm adventurous, skeptical, and um, I'm a tech geek. Hi, I'm Shyler. I am sporty, unpredictable, and Nintendo freak. I'm Debbie. I'm the quiet, uh, intuitive dog lover. I've been a dog lover ever since I was little. I was actually going to go to veterinary school out of high school, but I chose not to. And I currently have a dog treat business called Bertha's Barkery. Well, right now I'm the only hurdler for South Wayne Sport, and my best time is 16.14. Uh, and next year for my summer vacation, I am going to Australia for track. So explain this whole Nintendo freak thing that you were, you were just talking about. Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> well, how should... I would say I was started by when I was 8 years old and my stepbrother Ian, he got me into the watching the show Pokemon and also got me into playing the game. And I and then I just started following Nintendo and that's how I became it. And the only way for me to keep loving Nintendo is because of my stepbrother Ian because I haven't seen him in a while. So that's how it works. So that's all a downhill spiral from the time you were eight. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, don't say that. You're a jerk. <laughs> Listen, you're the one who started playing Pokemon at five. That's true, but I don't care. I worry about you guys. Yeah, I worry you about do it every day. Stuff. What, worry? Yes. You got that right. <laughs> People will call me adventurous, probably because, well, a big part of it is I'm in Boy Scouts, and it's taught me <coughs> to just kind of let loose and you know, take a chance every now and then, which is why I'm kind of mad that you never let me do a solitary session. I'm so, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I just worry just, about just, you. Just, I don't want anything bad to happen. No, I'm okay. And, <laughs> and I work with all the technology in the field, so you're a tech geek. Well, uh, people say that I'm eager because I try. <laughs> I try to do my best in everything, and I try to be involved with everything. Um, I'm very musically inclined. I am a part of our theatrical productions at South Williamsport, and I'm a part of the concert and marching band. Adding on to that, I'm very sensitive to not only the paranormal in general, but just in my everyday life. Like I can connect with someone and share my wisdom and try to make their day better as best as I can. Although they, they might disagree, I mean. <laughs> but yeah, I try to do the best I can for everyone, and as mom can probably say, I put everyone else before myself a lot. Because I care for others more than I probably care for myself. So discussing about South Williamsport, Pennsylvania, it's very well known for the Little League World Series that happens here every August, and uh, being native here, it's a very stressful time. It is yes. a very stressful time because traffic here, like we're a small town, we're a very small town, and so having thousands of people coming and visiting it's a little overwhelming. What else would you guys like say? Like, what else is kind of unique about Sal? Coffee. Coffee. What? Unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shyler. <laughs> I worry about you. That's my. Are guess. you judging me because I always drink coffee? No. Is that what that was about? No. 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 Oh, okay. okay. I'm sure. <laughs> So the one thing that I would like to ask you guys, and along with myself, what would you say would be the worst thing that you would have to describe yourself as? My thing is that I'm a control freak. I am a control freak. Social skills in the regards of I get agitated pretty easily, easy, easily easy. by other people. <laughs> Sometimes more than others. Shyler. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. My thing is language because when it comes to a test or when I get called a reading, I get super nervous because I have to read slow. My worst thing is also my best trait 
it depends on how you look at it. I am a perfectionist. So sometimes I'm my own worst enemy. <laughs> What's your best trait that you would have to say? I'm a very positive person. I don't show very angry like any anger or anything. I'm typically a pretty laid back individual and just kind of go with whatever's happening. I try to speak and write well. So we're gonna move towards a funny story that we've had an investigation and there have been plenty of them. Um, but the best one happens to be Dog two. Dog lover. Dog lover, <laughs> dog lover. Dog two. <laughs> Puppy number two. Um, but no, why don't you explain the uh, thing that happened at the Snyder farmhouse? What's your infamous phrase? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> my infamous phrase. I feel an intense pressure on my chest. Now, why don't you explain that? Why that's such a... Okay, so we it was pretty early into our career as investigators. We went up into one of the rooms and you can just feel the pressure of everything in there. In the middle of silence, all you hear is my little, like, 13-year-old voice. Oh my gosh. It's just, I feel an intense pressure on my chest. In the middle of nowhere. The entire room died. The entire room died. In conclusion, I would have to say, our team is made up of a very wide range of young individuals. We have a fun time, we know how we all are, and we all mash together well, and I think that's the best thing that any team can have.